Ah, good old Lars Sullivan. What's up, wrestling fans? I'm Joe Cronin. This is the Joe Cronin Show. And before we start on this big one, um, I want to say thank you to Junebug for being back on Patreon. He is a producer, $30 a month. That's crazy. Thank you so much to Victor for being back. J Niners fam, uh, D Crisp is now a producer, and Aaron Embry. Thank you guys so much for jumping on Patreon. You guys are the best, and we could use some more patrons. Come hang out with us on Patreon every single uh, week, and we got more shows coming up. I got a big podcast on there today with me and Jake and more. Lars Sullivan. Whoa, what's this photo? I don't even know what that is, but that was that scared me. Uh, there's Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan released from the WWE or fired from the WWE. Why is it that he was fired? Everybody thought it was for the virtuous reasons. It's not. Lars Sullivan reportedly no-showed WWE TV tapings before he was released. Um, Tuesday, it was revealed by PW Insider that WWE quietly released Sullivan back in January. Uh, Dave Meltzer noted on uh, F4WOnline.com message board that at one point, WWE chairman and CEO really wanted to push Lars, but that changed over time. Lars reportedly no-showed WWE TV tapings before he was released. There's no word on when Lars actually no-showed, but WWE was working on a new storyline with him in late October, November, before he disappeared from TV for the last time. Um, his last match was on October 23rd, SmackDown. Uh, he defeated Chad Gable. He defeated Jeff Hardy a week before that. Uh, he returned to TV. WWE began airing vignettes and sit-down interviews with Lars, and nothing ever came of it, and now he's gone. I'm gone. I'm a freak in the woods. I mean, guys, this is crazy, man. This guy no-showed so many times. He He never got fired for the weird racist things that he said on message boards. Why do I use quotations? Because I'm not exactly sure the context of what he really said and how it all played out. But a lot of people, you know, it was it seemed pretty creepy, some of the things he said. Um, I'm just never one to judge because I've said crazy things in the past and, and things, you know, younger, we all do weird things. We don't know, if some, you know, what the, whatever the case is. But the bottom line is what he did was weird. So everybody expected that that's why he finally got fired. But that's not why, man. They vetted him already. They already knew what he did, and they were accepting the risk or accepting his faults or previous mistakes because they wanted to make him a WWE superstar. They didn't care. So, and maybe he's different now. I don't know. But he's got this anxiety problem that, that, that really creeped up. He's had it, but it really creeped up when all this stuff about him started coming out. And we've never seen no-shows like this, I don't think, in NXT. But on the main roster, no-show, 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 and he disappeared for a while. He has got to have major problems, man. I mean, this is unbelievable that he keeps no-showing and everything else like that, and that's why he's released. It had nothing to do with any of that other stuff. It was all to do with him, once again, no-showing, allegedly. Crazy stuff, man. Lars Sullivan gone from the WWE, and the reason is... He no-showed again, allegedly. Crazy. <laughs> it's weird. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for the AEW review tonight. We'll be live with the AEW review. Um, and also look forward to me and Jake's podcast that will be up on Patreon soon. The Jake and Joe podcast. We talk about everything all over the world, what's going on, the news, the banter, the entertainment news. We talked about Mortal Kombat and so many other things, so many other things last time. Uh, we got a lot of stuff go uh, going on now as well. Thanks to all the patrons who signed back up on Patreon. And uh, we'll see you tonight for the AEW review live after AEW tonight. And uh, here's some other videos popping up now that you might have missed.